I'm going to tell you guys a story, and I want you guys to think about it, okay? Think about what I am doing. Miss Cruz, okay, not Miss Cruz, my teacher told us to get ready. My heart's pounding. I smell the lay on my neck. We're starting to walk down. I see the crowds. I'm getting nervous. What is happening? Turn to your partner and tell them what's happening. Just for Take a look at me. Alright, can anybody tell me what was happening? Yeah. I think it's made it because your nerve is kind of walking down. I think it's made it. Did anyone have the same answer? Yes. Yeah. Did you have a different answer? What was your answer? I thought it was for speech. It was for speech? Yeah. Okay, what were the clues that it was made? What was the evidence? Yeah? Um, you're, if you're nervous, dance. You're nerv I'm nerv I might be crowd. nervous about the dance. There's a big crowd. What was the other evidence? You smelled the flower. I smelled the flower. So usually, is there, that you're right. You if you're going to give a speech, there is a big crowd. You are nervous. But no flowers. I mean, in Hawaii, though, I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. that you, they give you a lay. So that would have been a good For answer, sure. too. But usually, is your teacher telling you guys to get, to come on? No. No. Okay. So... That's the skill or strategy that we're working on. Good readers, eyes on me please. Good readers need to think about other things than just what the author's telling them. They need to make inferences. Do you remember what an inference is? Turn and talk to your partner, see if you can try to remember. Can you three talk? Actually, you can talk to me. In between the words. What does that mean? It means if you don't like every word, then you can read the sentence in the words. You're thinking about definition. That's not that's not infancy. So that's like if you read like if you don't know a word and you read around it, that's trying to figure out the definition. So what's that infancy? Okay, reset. Remember how we're sitting in the room? Someone I have to read from. They want me. Meeting between the lines. What does it mean to read between the lines though? Um, it means to, if you don't know a word, you can change and see what word fits in it. Would you agree or disagree with that? Yeah. Does reading between the lines mean to change the word? Mm. I think you're you have the same word, but um, trying to find a word that has the same meaning, but... Does anyone know what strategy Leo, um, Larry L is working, uh, talking about? That's a different strategy, so you're correct. What strategy is that? Definition. That's a definition of a word. But yeah. today we're making an inference, okay? Yeah. So I'll give you an example. <laughs> It's like a girl riding on no. no. Okay. So, just tell me, I just want you to look at this box, okay? Tell me what you see. Just describe what you see. Describe what you see. Yeah. A girl riding on Is she riding up the hill yet, though? So, we see, what do we see? Just using our eyes, what do we see? Yeah. And you see, you see that you, she's about to go up the hill. Yeah. So what is she on? A bike. Okay. And what else do we see? A hill. Okay. So there's this thing when you read. It's called thick and thin. Okay. When something is thin, you only it's really small. And as a reader, you don't want to be a thin reader. What you guys did is you just told me what you exactly see. You see a girl on a bike. You see a hill. And the sun. You didn't tell. And the sun. You didn't tell me anything more. That's called thin reading. What I want you guys to be get in the habit of is becoming thick readers. By thick, show me what thick looks like. Yeah, this is thin. This is thick. There's a lot more when it's thick. So now, I want you to inference about this. Thing. So, what an inference actually is, is when you use your schema. Do you guys remember what schema is? Yes. What is schema? See, when you knew the, your knowledge from before? You use your knowledge from before, and that's why I drew this brain. Because it's what, what do I already know about this topic? You know so that here, what should you be thinking about? You know, a girl running. A girl running, like, oh. about to go up the hill. Okay, so you, that's the thin, right? Mm -hmm. That's, we know there's a girl, we know there's a hill. But I want you to know 
use your brain. What do you know about hills? And what do you know about a girl riding a bike? Okay? Not right now. Then you use what you know in your head. And then you use clues from the text or selection. So for this one, we're not using the word. We're just using our visual illustrations. Clues. Okay? So we're going to use clues from the, from the illustration. Then, to make an inference, it's, in between the lines. it's called read between the lines. So you're trying to say, okay, what is the author trying to tell me without really telling me? It's What is the author giving you clues about? Okay? So let's talk about this girl right now. Can you hand me that for just a second? She has black hair. Okay. Let's So let's talk about this girl. Then, we know she's riding a bike. We know there's a hill. Okay? That's the clues from the selection. Okay? Now I want you to use your background knowledge. What do you know about bike riding? Okay? What do you know about bike riding? There we go. We can ride fast and it will be probably tiring to ride up a hill. So you can be fast. You're going to be tired. What else do we know? We know that you, um, when you, you have to keep practicing. Okay. That's strange. Well, I'm going to challenge you. Would she be practicing here? No. No, no she's actually, actually, if she's actually buy like a bike first for the, like, Christmas and she doesn't know how to buy a bike. Is that what's happening in this story, though? Are you using clues from the selection right here? Okay, so do it. If you're going up a hill, would you think, do you think the girl is just practicing up a hill or do you think she already knows how to ride a bike? Yeah. So you need to it use the clues, the, the clues from the selection, okay, sweetheart? That was a good um, guess, but we want to use the clues from the selection to tell me about this girl, okay? So we know that she could be fast, tired, so I'm going to erase practice, okay? Slow. Why would she be slow? Like, maybe she yeah. tries to keep yeah. she yeah. 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 fast yeah. and then she's yeah. on a trip. So I'm going to ask you, how she's feeling here? Would it be different from when she's up here? Yes. Okay. Because she would be more tired. So she'd be more tired here? She needs water. She might need water? Why would she need water? She might be a little bit happy because she made it. Okay, she, she needs, might need water. She's happy because she made it. Okay. Snacks. She Maybe needs, snacks. So you can do She water. needs water because so when she gets hot, she can do okay. water. So did the author tell you all these things? Or the, the illustrator? Did, she, did he we just tell you? Clues. So that's an answer. That is an inference, okay? We're, we're using our thick, we want to be thick thinkers and using the clues from the story or the illustrations, trying to figure out what the author is giving you clues about. So here, she might, how might she be feeling? She's that, gonna, she, she's oh, gonna do a whole happy, hill. Happy, happy. Like okay. maybe. Would you agree? Does anyone agree with Kikailo that she's happy right there? Mm. How would you feel? Remember you want to use your background knowledge. How would you feel if you're about to climb this enormous hill? How much you feel? Kind of. We have tired. Would you be tired right before you start? No. Right? Where would you be tired? When you start, in the middle, or the end? I put this. Think about when you bike. Are you tired before you even start? In the middle or the end? Middle. Maybe the middle, right? So think about how she's feeling right now. How is she feeling right now? She's feeling kind of nervous. Yeah. Or scared. Maybe nervous or scared, right? And she might still even feel nervous, nervous and scared here, right? Because she's going to fall off. But how, what other emotions is she feeling right now? She might be feeling like tired and then she's going down. She's She's like happy because she made it. Yeah, she's happy. Right? When she goes down, she's going to go slow. Are you going slow over here? No, no she's no. tired. That's Everybody fast. fast. Really fast Even if you because were paddling. Because it's a. That one hill. What in hill you ride? So, down. is that thing the author told us, or is that an inference that we made? Inference. What is an inference then? Turn and talk to your. I want you to tell your partner what an inference is without using the word inference. So when I ask you to make an inference, what am I asking? You're asking oh, wait. Turn to talk to your partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, to like, um, like, 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 like,
you come across this word and it's something you don't know, then you are still getting mixed up with definitions. We're not looking at unknown words right now. Right? What are we looking at? We're looking at what the author is telling us clues about. Oh, um, but um, it's like when you when somebody draws a picture, then you just have to figure out, they figure out what she's going in the what she's going up or down and up. So I think we might need some help with your definition. Let's see. Who can help Kai with his definition? Who can help Kai with his definition? So I think he's still getting confused with unknown words or definitions. And what an inference is. So what is an inference? Like some some sentences to describe what he never heard. The author never heard. What? Yeah, exactly that. It's you're telling me about the story to describe what the author never really put. So you're you're using words to describe what the author is trying to tell you. Okay? So sometimes we don't use illustrations, sometimes we'll use words. And most of the time Oh, I think I oh. Uh, what words, using these words, figure out what the author is trying to tell you. Can somebody read it out loud? Loud and fun. I can't sleep. What? Sweat was dripping from my head tissues were everywhere. What's happening here? She is sick. How do you know? What's the clues? Because she can't Sleep and the tissues. Yeah, the tissues are because the okay. like she's. All right. Running. Can you hand out a whiteboard to everyone, please? Can we get our old markers? I have the markers for you guys. Oh yeah, I I made it yesterday. Ooh. 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 This one. Yeah. Okay, what did I say? If there's a color there, okay. what did I say? That's Miss Crusoe's. I said ignore it and then I'll find the color another time. Probably what you can tell, right? I'll purple you in So, can you grab me that poster right there? It's taped to the whiteboard. Wait, which one? Right there, on the whiteboard. It says bright. How are we doing over there, vocabulary? Are you done? If you guys are done with the vocabulary words, are you done with the vocabulary words? So what are you guys working on? You're on Maya? What are you on, Dasha? What are you on, Maya? What are you on, Chloe? Okay. The one right there on the whiteboard. Two. Turn left. Right in front of the camera. To the left. Go turn, turn, turn. Right there. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Stay on task, please, Dasha. Alright. Hey Joseph, if you're on my own, don't you need headphones? So where they should, should they be? Thank you. Alright, let's do this one. Okay, okay, read it out loud. Ray always carry his flute with him. He shined it every night and was very careful with it. He did not want anything to happen to it. So, let's look at our poster. We're going to use our background knowledge and clues from the selection. So what I like to do, I want you to draw a picture. Remember how should our markers be? Thank you, Leilani. What I want you to do is, first, usually as a reader, I find the evidence first before I use my background knowledge. What is the evidence that we know of right now? What are some pieces of evidence? Yes, take I love. Right. He always carries his flute with him. Okay, so he has a flute with him. What else? Yes, Larry? He shined it every night. He shined it every night. Okay. So you know he has a flute, he's shining it every night. What other clues do we have? He didn't want anything to happen to it. He didn't want anything oh. to happen to it. That's the Okay. Any other clues? He was careful with it. He was careful with it. Okay, so these are the evidence. The author is telling us this. But to make an inference, we have to use these what? clues to tell me more about Ray. So what do you know about Ray then, without the author telling you? Without you the go? author telling you? No, this is what just is for us together, okay? To that so the evidence, what is the evidence that we have in, in this test? He shined it. He shined it every night. He has a flu. Careful. He's careful. And he didn't want anything to Okay, so they're the things that authors are telling us. That's thin. What's the thick reading about it? What? Do we want, what can we infer about Ray? What do we know about Ray that the author isn't telling us? 
Yeah, I want you to turn and talk to your partner and tell him what he doesn't care about. He doesn't want to do so it to anybody. Like, 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 he's like, 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 like so what do we know about Ray? What do we know about Ray? Yes? We know that um we know that he is he will be he loves his flute very much. He loves his flute. Does it say he loves his flute? No. no. What is the inference that it's he, he shined it every night? That's the evidence. Would you shine something you didn't no. love? No. Oh, yeah, so we know that he loves his flute. What else do we know about Ray? He know we know that he pra he practices it. Yeah. Maybe. Does it say he practices it? Uh, no. But would you why would why did you think he practices? What kind of prior knowledge did you use? I, because it says he always carry it with him. Yeah. Would Maybe he would go to practice. Yeah, so he's going to practice and he likes to practice. So we know he loves his flute. He carries his foot flute. Um, he does. So he what, how would you describe Ray? What kind of suit? If you had to say one of our core values about him, what would you give him? Hey, painters, what's happening over there? We need to do more tasks, please. I'm waiting for it. So you can teach your own Yes. Respect? He's respectful, right? He's respectful oh, towards his flute. And how do you know oh, he's respectful? Because he has kuleana. Yeah, and oh, he's, he's responsible. Does he have kuleana? He's responsible. Yeah. Responsible, yeah, responsible because, because he's keeping he it. Caring what anyone to Yeah. Is he like? Is he being he messy with it? Yeah. To know. yeah. So we know that Ray is responsible. We know he loves his flute and he practices a lot. Maybe his mom wants him to keep. keep maybe his mom wants because him to forgive. Yeah. Okay. So were there clues that they gave a gift though? No. So we want to kind of stick to the clues that we know already, right? If it said he opened a box, you know, maybe if they gave us clues that he got it from his birthday. But we just want to use the things that link us to the evidence here. Okay? Alright, so now what I want you to do is on your whiteboards, did you see how I I I, I, I yes. um, underlined the evidence? You can't underline these cards because I'm going to use them again for tomorrow. Hi, sweetheart. Um, Okay, Ayana, you're in this group today, but I want you to join your Alexia group, and then um, I will, I'll pull you the next day, okay? Um, so I underlined this, the circle. I mean, I underlined the evidence. What I want you guys to do is write the evidence down on your paper. You don't need to use your full sentence. So, so yeah, so what I would have done, if this was my card, I would have wrote... He shined. I would have just wrote shined. I would have wrote flute. Don't write the whole I would have wrote careful. Yeah, don't. This is just notes for your evidence for when I ask you what was your evidence, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to make an inference about the character. So you don't need to write your inference, I just want to see your evidence on this board. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, the only so turn to talk to your partner, what are you going to do on this board? We are um, the evidence from the evidence. Just not in the Do you write the um the inference? Do not write your inference. Okay. No inference. Okay. Nothing else. Do we do it with our partners? Mm -hmm. Um, you, you're going to do this by yourself, okay? And then... This one is hard. Yeah. Okay, what did I say about things being hard? He's gonna work. He'll work hard and I'll help you. Okay? So look for the first thing is remember what I like to do is I like to look for the end in first. What do we know for sure? Jacob, please be on task. Be on task, please. Jason, what are you working on? Pictures. You should only be calling what you do, okay? Oh, draw some more. You may draw, if you finished already, you may work on a chapter book. You're reading long. If you're done painting, but I need you to work on. I need you to use your time wisely. Okay. Okay. So what? What are your tools? Um. Loud. Okay. So it's right loud. What else? Um, excitement. Mm -hmm. What else? 
Wars. The Warriors place that's loud excitement. There's other clues. There's a more. There's mm -hmm. other clues there to help you figure out what the setting is. Maybe Try it's... to figure out the setting, okay? Thank you. Hi. Hmm. 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 Begun and the cape over the child. So what is happening? I that he's gonna do a little play or something. Would you agree or disagree with that? What evidence is there that shows you they're not doing the play? Who knows the evidence is that they're not doing the play? Yeah. There's scissors and clippers. So yeah, you get to make the scissors. Like I, I. I said um, it would be a play because you need to get stuff ready with scissors yeah. and clippers. That's what I would do. Do you wear a cape? The one you get in a, in a play usually? No. You can. You yeah. can. You can. But think about it. Can you reread it again? One with cl cl clippers in one hand and scissors in the other. Okay, so think about it. The guy's holding clippers and scissors. Where are you Ooh. when oh, you have clippers? Do I ever wear clippers and scissors? <laughs> do you know what clippers are? Where do you use clippers on? <coughs> your hair. Your hair. Oh. So you use clippers on your hair. Oh, you have scissors. Him. So where is this person? Maybe <coughs> she's at the um haircut. A haircut. What's the evidence? Oh, oh, because cape. You wear the cape for mm -hmm. no haircut. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good job. Found it. The, I, I hear a loud whack. 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 Mm -hmm. As the ball flies high in the air, the crowd roars with excitement. I run fast before the, the ball is brought back. Maybe he's at a basketball game? Agree or disagree? I think mm. disagree. Why would you disagree with that? Because in a basketball game, you don't hear thwack. You don't have to hear thwack. Only if you Wait, wait, wait. So think about it, okay, guys. You hear a loud thwack. What sport? has a thwack in it. Do we hear a lot of thwacks? 
It's not dribbling. Volleyball? Volleyball? No. Eight Who can help you Baseball. Baseball, what is yeah. making the flat? And the ball flies. The ball, but what is making the flag sound? It's so high in the air. Is the high in the air making the flag sound? Flag. What makes the flag sound? It's so we already know it's baseball, but what? The author isn't telling you what's making the flag sound. You have to infer what is making the flag sound. Um, Think about it in baseball. Think here, use your prior knowledge. What's making the flag sound? What makes a loud sound in baseball? When they hit the ball. With the... <coughs> With the what? This. With what, Kika? Oh, the bat. The bat. So where this is that? Like a loud, exciting. So where is that person? Mm. The baseball game. Right, the baseball game. Okay, who hasn't cheered yet? Huh? Who hasn't cheered yet? Okay, let's be still then and show that person we're hearing. I see bubbles rising. I, I hear my own breathing. There are fish swimming above me. I feel the sea swing. So where are you? Well, what's the evidence? That there are bubbles rising. You can hear your own breathing. And there are fish above swimming. And you can feel sea swimming. So what is that person? Maybe scuba diving? Why scuba diving and not snorkeling? Because in scuba diving, you go deeper. Mm -hmm. And the fish are above or below? Above. Mm -hmm. So when you're snorkeling, the fish are Oops. below you, right? Because you're on top. Oh. When you're scuba the fish are on top of you. And that was a, a good clue. Okay, who's turn? I Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. The boys poked holes in the lids of the jars. They went outside to look around the yard. There's one. Now let's find the footy. So what do we know? Maybe there's a frog. What do we know? What's the evidence? They're outside. They're outside. What else do they have? They I have see three people not paying attention. So show me that they're listening. Yeah. They have poke holes. They have poke holes. Yeah. In what? What do they poke holes in? In jars. So think about it. If you're outside and you have poke holes in jars, what do you think you're doing? Can somebody help him? Um, I can. I think that he's poking holes in the jar for so um an animal or a frog can breathe. Oh. So they're what, are they, what action are they doing? Um, catching something. Catching something. Okay. Let's share one more, and then I'm actually going to give you guys one more. Ah. Um, oh, what do you do? So by yourself. By yourself. A voice in the desert and was gardens. Just a pool of water was left under his head. Frosty had told them he would be back next year, but they still <coughs> missed him very much. So what's happening there? Make sure you should be erasing right now, right? Just kind of should be still. What do we know? Hold on, sorry, the boys are distracting me. The okay. okay. is gone. What's gone? So what's happening in there? <clears throat> Who is Frosty? The boy. It's kind of friend, but we know that he's sad with the pool of water. It's the boy. So what is Frosty? Oh, Frosty is a snowman. It's a snowman. Yeah, because right? next year that's when Christmas is coming. Because, because it's gonna be snow. Snowman. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? Um, Oh, snow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys one more. One more. Um, actually, you know what? These were yesterday, Chloe and Jay Shipman. So. so let's read Chloe's and Jay Shipman's stories together, okay? Can I have you guys, I'm just going to stack your boards up here, just because. Just like, whoop. Stack them right in the middle, you sure? Erase it. Go ahead and erase it. Put them inside. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's put our markers in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read this clue to you. This is, so your classmates created these inference cards, okay? And then I'm going to give you guys a chance to try to make one by yourself. Okay? So. 
I was talking to my friend when the teacher was talking. I was not paying attention when the teacher is teaching. What's going on? Um, she's going to get in trouble. I have to move her. Does it say that the teacher's going to she's going to get in trouble? Yeah, but what some schools might have no clue. Okay, but use what you know. She might get in trouble. She'll get in trouble, right? Why is she going to get in trouble? Because she was talking to her friend and not paying attention. She was talking to her friend and not paying attention. So you use the evidence. She was talking to her friends, not paying attention. You know in your head that if you're not talking to someone, your eyes should be on me. If you're talking to someone when I'm talking, will you get in trouble? Okay. So her card was getting in trouble in class. Okay. Let's do another one. She has a... Oh. She has a bathing suit on and she is moving. Her hands are are moving and she is kicking. Her feet is in the water, they're in the sand. What is happening here? Would you agree that this is the action mm. that she's trying to describe? Oh, she's kicking her feet and she's moving her well, maybe arms. She's so floating. what is she doing? Floating. She's Would you agree with Kika that that's floating? Because if, if you were kicking your legs, you're like going deep and deep and deep. So is that floating? So what action is she doing? She's kicking and she's swimming. She's kicking and she's swimming, okay. Um, we're out of time, but um, what's your sentence tomorrow? Boys, vocabulary? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is I want you to try to create one of these infants cards yourself. Okay? So um, tomorrow during the centers, can you grab a card for me? Mm -hmm. And then I will let you work in partners.